Hello, welcome to another podcast of Master Investor. Glad to be here again on another valuable talk on money, business, and investment. My name is Jose. I'm the founder of the company and brand. Welcome back. And if you're new, make sure that you follow us here and all other social media platforms. Click the link in the description to join our inner circle, one of our eBooks and digital courses, how to build cash flow with the internet, turn passive income on. Whenever you're ready to start building the asset column and creating more freedom in your life, then the next step is to take massive action, invest in your financial education. That way you have control and you have the ultimate decision on how to invest your money. Here at Master Investor, our mission is to elevate the financial well-being of humanity through high quality financial education made simple. We're looking for opportunities to build passive income and true wealth. Today is March 27, 2024. We're going to be speaking about master raising capital. And it's important because the job number one of an entrepreneur is to raise capital, right? That's the main thing that we must do. A business is supposed to raise capital at all times. If a business is not raising capital on autopilot, then it's going to die. It's not a business, it's a liability. It must be profitable. So it needs to be built from the, from the very beginning to raise capital from the front end, from sales that are coming in through sales funnels on autopilot and also from the back end, meaning that it's so attractive that banks and investors and other lenders are wanting to invest in the operation because they know that that operation will make their money multiply. Assume for a moment that we have a, the chance to buy a quaint yet traditional 10 room boutique hotel that is on the verge of foreclosure. However, something is lacking, it is the money. Alternatively, perhaps we are looking to expand an already existing firm or launch a new one. But we need a financial boost to get things started. We reach out a few possible investors, but how can we convince them to put money into our venture? In the past, we could establish a strong rapport with our neighborhood banker and in the event that we required a loan, arrange a meeting to present our case. We might get to know one another in the future and occasionally even act in good faith. It is difficult to find a banking relationship like that these days. Therefore, if your only emphasis is institutional-based financing and we are wanting to start our own business or get into investing, the thought of collecting funding can seem a little intimidating. However, don't let that stop us from pursuing our objectives. There has never been a better moment to become an entrepreneur, particularly if we possess the essential component of successful business and entrepreneurial spirit. The capacity to raise money is one of the essential elements of an entrepreneur's success. And it is commonly believed that this person's capacity for selling is essential for obtaining funding. What are we selling is the query. The four components of capital ra of raising capital. In the realm of investment, raising funds, sometimes referred to as OPM, other people's money, is essential. It is almost it is also among the most daunting aspects of becoming an investor for the first time. Consequently, having some direction along the road is always beneficial. Before pursuing funding requests, there are four important aspects to be aware of and take care of. Our chances of getting money are higher if we can answer each of these four concerns with assurance and clarity. Number one, project. Number two, partners. Number three, financing. Number four, management. If we firmly and clearly address these four points, our investors will probably come around. Selling won't be a problem and we will draw in more money than we ever imagined. It can demonstrate to a potential lender or investor that we have control over these four components of the jigsaw. Let's examine these four variables in more detail and discuss some of the queries the lenders and investors may have. Project. Lenders are and project investors must be able to Comprehend a request for funding with ease. Make it easy. Don't be too long. Be truthful. What project is the capital we are receiving from the investor or lender for? What precisely is our business, if it is ours? What distinguishes our company from competitors in our field? What will enable it to succeed? Describe the investments, advantages and disadvantages. What makes it special and what benefits does the investor receive? from our investment partners. For perspective, try putting ourselves in the position of the investor, which 
musical en endeavor that uh, will, will be more inclined to fun. Which new skincare brand, Mary Kay's or Lindsay Lohan, will be will support? It is, it, it is not complicated science. It makes perfect business sense. Any investor choice will be influenced by the partners experience and how comfortable they are with each other's degree of knowledge right so that's why i say investing in our leadership skills is, is critical because the better we are extracting other people's talents and being able to put them to work together because it's one thing putting smarter people to work together that is the hard part but it's possible when we have the right vocabulary We have the right skills developed in ourselves because we have done self-development. You see, it's important that we begin to invest in our financial education. If you never read a book, if you're reading a little bit, read more. The more you know, the more we know that we don't know that much and we need to continue that learning curve. It never stops. When it comes to entrepreneurship, I tell you this much. It never stops. We can always learn something new. There's so much infinite stuff that we can learn about business okay so don't think there's a graduation day when we start building our wealth issues that require clarification who are the project's principal partners who is organizing the transaction what background do the partners possess what is their history we may help the investors feel secure and at ease working with our team by providing the answers to the above questions obtaining the funds right financing present the actual figures since the majority of the sales figures for a beginning company will be estimates rather than real figures is obviously more difficult that's why i said earlier right when we raise capital from banks usually they like to give that money to an existing real estate property that has been making money for the past 30 years 20 years 10 years five years and we can show that so They're not betting on us, they're betting on the actual property. And when we start a business from scratch, it can be more difficult, but there are new ways that we can raise capital even when we're starting from scratch because maybe it is a unicorn idea, meaning that it's a billion dollar idea from scratch and we just need the right eyeballs looking at that opportunity so that we can come with the right team and the right pitch to raise the capital. But it is easier when we have an existing record to show the investors. However, I still encourage you to learn how to build a brand from scratch. This is where having prior experience can assist us get beyond that barrier. As precisely as we can demonstrate to the investor how the project, whether it is a company, venture, or an investment, will generate profits. Be sensible. Investors prefer to see the most realistic figures including the challenges and obstacles that lie ahead rather than best case scenario issues arise with every business and investment project acting as though, our, as though ours won't make us appear unprofessional. In total, how much money are we raising? From where does the company originate? Is the funding coming from government initiatives, traditional lenders, pension funds, or private individuals? Which terms are these? What will we do with the funds raised? To what purpose are the monies being used? One tip, take it as closed if there is ever a suggestion that a portion of the funds raised will go towards paying us the business's owner or closing the deal. Get a job if you want a paycheck. Naturally, we also need to respond to these two crucial inquiries for a possible investor. When will, be, when will my initial contribution be returned? What is my money's return? Never forget that the investor wants to know the whole story and if it, if it is all possible, avoid surprises. Management. According to a proverb, money follows management, but when we address all four, not just management, our case becomes much stronger. Investors are curious about the individuals overseeing daily operations. Any ventures continued success depend on this. Why are they essential to this project's or business success? How much experience does the management team have? Who do they represent? What are their experiences and areas of expertise? The partners and management team 
may be the same if we are launching our own company or seeking capital to expand an already established one. As long as the investor has faith in the team's experience and knowledge, that shouldn't possess any issues. Obtaining funding for a company. Peer-to-peer -peer lending, another name for alternative marketplace-based lending systems, is a thriving industry today and a flexible loan option for anyone. This implies that there are other options for funding than the banking system. And also, once we start receiving an excess of cash flow, that's another way to invest money through peer-to-peer -peer lending. We become the bank now. We're now lending money to other people, right? Are we prepared to learn how to raise money now that we know what investors want to hear? Let's look at six market leaders that are worth wow to consider and that we should be aware of if we need to raise money for our next business venture. This is how it operates. Uh, this one is square, the first one. Let me see. $10,000 is the amount the square deposits into your bank account. As a result, the loan is returned automatically using a portion of our square's daily car sales. How long it takes to pay square doesn't affect the amount we owe. No offers. No offering CM costs, interest charges, or lay fees. Over 460,000 merchants have received over 9 billion in funding extensions from them thus far. The final outcome is staggering 95% of those retailers claim that as a result, their company is expended. Applying for this loan won't even have an impact on our credit score if we need further motivation about this lending system. The following are some lenders that are available online. Number one, Square. Square is well known for providing business owners with a range of POS, point of sales capabilities. It only takes a few taps on the Square app to be eligible for a fast cash loan if we are a Square merchant. Number two, Cabbage. Cabbage operates similarly to a credit line. We can apply for up to a $250,000 line of credit in minutes by creating an account with Cabbage. After then, we can use that credit line as needed to make other kinds of investments. Number three, on deck. According to on deck, lending to small businesses, it is only uh, their focus. They have given over 50 billion in loans to small businesses and have an A plus rating with a better, with a better business bureau providing that they mean business. Number four, lending club. Through the peer to peer lending platform, lending club, People may pool their money, funds to invest in opportunities, so you have the option to apply for a loan or lend money. Over 4 million clients have borrowed more than 80 billion. Number five, Funding Circle. According to his website, Funding Circle is the world's lend, uh, leading platform for small business lending and has given over 135,000 businesses over 20 billion in loans since 2010. It is entirely geared toward small businesses, supporting them in growing their companies, handling emergencies, paying off debt, and covering upfront expenses. Number six, Kickstarter. Even though we have undoubtedly heard about this one already, it deserves to be mentioned. Kickstarter is a platform for crowdsourcing ideas and goods that assist business owners and investors in realizing their vision. This platform, in contrast to the other on this list focuses more on those who have a fantastic idea but require the funding to launch it from scratch. No more justifications like anything else. We should consider the advantages and disadvantages and do our homework. However, I don't have, you, know, uh, you don't have the money to invest is not longer a valid justification. All we need to do is get going after learning the four key components of generating funds and several approaches to it. Help our investors feel sure, feel sure that we can deliver on our promises by tailoring our pitch to these four criteria, right? Next, fulfill our commitments and observe an increase in our cash flow. So there you have it, the four main things that we need to remember when we raise capital project is number one number two partners number three finances number four management make sure you click the link in the description let me know if you have any questions i'll talk to you on the next podcast bringing the good and bad news of money and remember that the job number one of an entrepreneur is to raise 
capital. And then number one, skills to sell without selling using systems and smart marketing. And then number one job of a master investor is to make money work hard through sound investing. Stay extraordinary and wealthy. Bring you the good and bad news of money, the business principles that work in all economies. Thank you. And talk to you next time. Bye for now.